What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. And let's take a look real quick uh, where we stopped the last time, uh, everything I have been doing for the last week, and a few things you guys need to pay attention for the next few weeks. Alright, so let's take a look. Alright, so since we finished the last video, uh, I was able to get a couple of the potion keeps open and I got stuck for close to a week on the void keep. Now, if you guys don't know, the void keep only opens on Sundays. So everything I have to do, I have to pretty much try to look forward, like I always say, uh, in the other missions and try to complete what I can. So as of right now, as soon as it opens in a couple of days, uh, we're gonna be getting a Spirit Void Potion from Stage 10. Uh, three Star Stage 7 on Bruto is already done. This one, uh, Clear Stage 7 or higher of Spider's Den 10 times. We have to wait to be able to... for that to open. 5 million to Demon Lord. That's not too bad because uh, you guys have to do that on normal. So, not a big deal pretty easy one key you should be able to ascend a champion to level six of ascension and that's what i always say like sometimes you really want to ascend your champions you have to look forward to make sure you won't get stuck the most there's a limited number of uh six star champions you're gonna have at this point if you guys are progressing the way i'm showing you so you need to wait for that. One of the things I know is I'm gonna have to hit the magic kip for a little bit to be able to get that level 6 ascension. Uh, because pretty much ninja requires a lot higher uh, potions. Okay, so the next one would be win 5 or 6 star amulets from stage 7. It's just one. Not too bad. And win 100 silver or gold medals on Classic Arena. This one can be a little bit hard. Sometimes, uh, at this point, if you're moving really fast on those missions, you may be stuck on gold one. Gold one only gonna give you one medal. So, at times, it's better to f keep yourself around uh, silver four, because that will give you, I believe, two or three medals at a, uh, each fight. So, just keep that in mind. Now, do not drop from, let me say, like, uh, Gold 2 Arena, because it's gonna help you a lot later on. So, it's really a choice you have to make. So, next one, three champions with level 16 artifacts. If you guys notice, I have been saving a lot of silver. I have 10 million right now, so I should be able easily to do that. That's what I always say, be very careful with your silver. And then win 15, 5 or 6 artifacts from the Ice Golem. Uh, this one, in the most because uh, you should be having about, uh, probably getting closer at, or maybe even have uh, another 6 star champion, it should be fine. You may have to maybe look up your equipment, in the most since you're gonna have to level it. Make sure you have decent equipment for your champions. That's probably gonna help you guys a lot. Probably now, it will help you a lot to be able to progress. Um, earn three stars, stage seven of Palace of Arabia. That's taken care of. Unlock um, two tire four mastery for two champions. If you guys remember, I actually unlocked all the masteries for two of them with the gems. Uh, you guys should be able to have gotten to that point. Win 5 Spear Arcane Potions, this one's always open, so it's not a big issue. Stage 7 of Tillshire, and then we're gonna hit where I'm working towards, because that's really the only one that's gonna be a little bit harder, and it's get 3 rank 6 champions, right? So, this one, you guys are gonna have to be looking more forward. In the most, if you guys have to wait for the Void Keep to open, or any of the other Keeps to open, just start leveling food as much as you can, fast as you can, and you guys should be fine. Then after that, 15, 5 or 6 stars, and that's, like I said, that's when you really have to start bettering your equipment, but during those missions you may get some good equipment as well. 
And we're actually gonna hit on that a little bit later in the in in the video. Superior magic push. All right, so that's where you guys are gonna have some issues, and it's win five superior magic potions, and spirit potions. Then you go back into having to go to the to the keeps. Uh, hopefully, those are pretty much in order, so you should be able to like day after day. But that's the only thing that's gonna hold you guys for next week. So. Try to level, try to get food. Right now, that's you guys. You guys should be looking. Now, very important. Uh, if you guys know, we just got a new dungeon, um, and with that, new tournaments, new events, and everything. One of the things you guys have to keep in mind: in the most in a free-to-play account, right? Uh, your resources suck, pretty much. Nothing to say about that, it sucks. You don't have, never have enough, uh, but you may want to try to go for tour. Uh, that's gonna be a fusion that's gonna start in September 6th. So you guys have two weeks to get enough stuff. And if you guys are following, you should be able to get a lot of resources just by completing the missions, right? Okay, now, you see, for example, our, our get uh, as guardian path, right? Not even on my main account, I have been applying myself. The only thing I did in my main account was uh, pretty much coming here and get some soul stones done. Uh, besides for that, I didn't touch, I didn't open a single shard for that. Because even on my main account that I am trying to be a zero spender now, I don't want to go and use those resources because I will need them for fusion in two weeks. So I'm just trying to accumulate as many resources as I can right now. Right? Now, on my free to plays, guess what? I'm doing the same <laughs> because it's going to be a lot harder. Now, free to play accounts, when you guys have to do that uh, during the Hell Hates competition, a lot of those guys were able to get our manned. But Hell Hades actually mentioned that. He did not get this champion on his main account because what he had to do to be able to get on the free-to-play competition account pretty much took the whole time he had. So he had to grind non-stop every second of the day to be able to get that champion. And pretty much you guys are going to see yourselves in the same position with Thor even if you save the resources for about two weeks. So until then, Plarion going to do what they do best. They will be putting a lot of events, a lot of stuff that people like competitions, and they will try to just nail them as much as they can. And But to be honest, yeah, some of those prizes are not bad, but they're very expensive for what you get. You would have to open a lot of shards, uh, a lot of soul stones, and it's just not worth it. Not unless you're cracking I don't see anything that is that special for you to actually spend all that money, okay, and resources. So the next thing is tournaments. Tournaments are going to be popping up as well. Now we have one, um, I believe that's a Fire Knight, yes, Fire Knight turn attack. It's not too bad, but also it doesn't give you anything that you're really going to need right now. Uh, I feel those events, I usually just ignore them. If by off chance, I'm doing something that I need to go to the Fire Knight, yeah, sure, I'll run that way, just get something from it, but besides for that, forget about it. Forget about it, huh? Yeah. So, this is pretty much it. Tag Arena. Yeah, commit to this one. Why? Because Tagarin is going to give you other resources, and guess what? If you don't use uh, the arena coins for Tagarin, they disappear in the end of the day. So, not a big deal. You're going to get stuff from it. Just run with it. Alright, so, as I mentioned, we have a new dungeon. And this dungeon has Odin. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be open for about 9 weeks, right? 
Should you guys rush, spend all your energy to try to go up in this dodge? No. So I ran a couple of times uh, on stage 10, right? I really don't have a team. Uh, most of those guys don't have equipment, uh, besides the ones that are actually on my roster right now, on my team right now. So, and it's not even a 100% win. Could I build them to be able to go higher uh, on stage? Yeah, sure. But the problem is, I would be spending resource I want to keep a hold on. Now, am I going to be able to get Thor? Probably not. But am I going to try? Sure. About half the way uh, in Fusion, I'm probably going to have an idea if I can make it or not. But at times, it's worth to keep going. Basically because uh, this fusion is not a fragment fusion by what I heard. What it means, even if you don't think you have all the champions you need to be able to fuse, you may have... You may have a little bit of luck and when you're opening shards actually get some of the required champions. So, it, it's not a bad idea to just keep going. Worst case scenario, you may have a couple of epics that you can use. Yeah, so if you guys can see, Odin is very hard. And at every bracket, every time you have to use more energy. Actually, one less from the time you have to up the amount of energy uh, you need to actually fight him. He becomes extremely harder. Uh, in this case, now he has two champions fighting alongside him. Well, I don't have energy, and not going to use my jams. But basically, um, as you guys see, the moment it went four to five stars, it becomes a lot harder, and I can't wait. I have nine, about nine weeks to be able to get equipment from there. By the way, uh, those rewards are really good if you get pinpoint and the rates are not bad i can't complain about the rates uh i would say usually when you have a good artifact uh from dungeon like fire knight uh, uh, they're hard to drop uh pinpoint have been dropping fairly well now sure rate can always change a little bit and then you can't find you can you have to go like 20 30 times to be able to get one pinpoint but, until that happens, pretty decent dungeon. Uh, if you guys gotta go for equipment, not a bad dungeon. If you guys need equipment, not a bad dungeon to get from. Um, if you guys don't know, it gives you about 60 accuracy, 32% speed. If you get about, uh, I think that's 6, if you get all the 6. So it's it's really not a bad uh, artifact set. So yeah, go for it. Speed and accuracy you need in a lot. I would say most of your champions will require that. So go for it. All right, now looking at my roster, uh, if you guys see, I have two level 60s. And Ninja is the one that I need to work on the sand. If you guys take a look at it, if I hit max, it tells me uh, I need 15 superior uh, potions. So I need to work on getting those. I could come in here on the potion mixer and I would only be able to get one because it's 10 to 1. So I would be able only to get one potion. So I need to work on that. Um, as soon as... It's opens on Saturday, so Saturday gonna be getting those 15 potions. Uh, if you guys have other requirements, make sure just keep a look at the dates, and that should be enough. Arena, just to go you get, so you guys know, I have been not as deep in the arena. I'm keeping my uh, my account at stage 4 arena, level 4 arena, and it's pretty much because if you guys see, I get 3 medals from it. Now the only problem with that, I know for a fact that very soon I need to get uh, level 4, 
So for me to get a level four, do do do, I need silver. So it's fine. But soon enough, it's gonna be where I need gold. And for you to be able to actually get Arbiter, you need to get at least one of them all the way to 10. So, that being said, don't go spreading the love unless you already got everything you could with your bronze. Then use whatever you have left bronze in the other ones. Same thing goes for silver. When you already used up the silver ones and you have something left, you can use in others because eventually you're also going to have to where you need to have two level fours and so on and so forth. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments where you guys at uh, on the Arbiter missions. Let me know what you think about this new event. Let me know what you guys think about this new dungeon. I'll be honest, I really like, but don't just go by what other people say, uh, other content creators. Don't take me wrong, I watch their videos, I have nothing against, I know some of them, but I'll say uh, you probably don't have the gear to get as high. In my main account, I got to level 20, uh, to stage 24. Not a problem, not 100%, more like 90% if I auto it. I could go higher, I could probably get to 30, but I would have to spend silver and I would have to spend a lot of time to be able to get my champions in the way I need and they probably would not work as well in some other areas of the game that I need them, alright? So anyway guys, very nice to have you guys here, I hope you guys have a great end of the day and as always, I'll see you in the game.